Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make, well not how to make anything, but things you can use and a little bit of how you can make things that go in your doll's book bag. Now, I can't show you how to make a book bag. My Froggy Stuff has a tutorial on it and I think I am going to make that book bag, like try to now that I got duct tape. But this is my little, my little book bag here and you see this color, well that's what the straps were. There was a long strap, and then there was, like, a short strap. But the short strap broke, and then somehow the blue color on the string got broke off. But this book bag, it's really old. It's, see, it's coming apart, and, um, I can't even remember where I got this at. So, um, yeah, but as you can see, the material's cracking up, and... Um, I just, I've had it for a long time, and I think it's just time to make a new one. I didn't make this, but, um, I'm still going to use this, but, um, I'm going to make also some, because I need a lot more than one. I have a lot of dolls that go to school. It can be for your Monster High or anything. This is not for my Monster High, but, yeah, I just have her to demonstrate. Tell me what Monster High you like the best. I like uh, Claudine the Dead Tired. This is her. She comes with the um, bunk bed. I don't have that. My friend just gave me this doll. Yeah. I don't know. I just like her for some reason. I think it's just her hair and how it is. I don't know. I just really like this doll. But yeah. So first thing you're always going to need oops, is a hairbrush. It's purple. <laughs> this probably would be Claudine's, but it um just a hairbrush. So yeah, you're gonna need a hairbrush. You're gonna need at least one thing of makeup, whether it's eyeshadow or something. This is eyeshadows, three eyeshadows and a blush. And a mirror. See? I don't know where I got this. So you're going to need a detective for makeup or something. Pencils. Pencils is like the most thing you need in a book bag. Even at school. Some books. Um, yeah. I have a book here. Just one that I made. At a cardboard and at. You're going to need some magazines. I have a little home magazine. You're going to need your notebooks. So I have, I've made a couple. And my party stuff has a, um, a tutorial on this. You're going to need, if you take, if your doll takes music, you're going to need her music sheet. I got this off of printmini.com. And you're going to need markers or color pencils or crayons. I have color pencils. I've print many too. And I actually have little color pencils that I also made. So I have purple, pink, green, brown, blue. Yeah. And then black. So you're going to add the biggest things. Which are, for me, my notebooks. So I'm going to add them first. You're going to add the second biggest thing, which is my music sheet. And I just fold it up. Add the third biggest thing, then the smallest, well, the medium size and the next medium and then yeah just like that and then the smallest get it in. so that way it's all organized let's see my dog just fell alright so I'm probably going to make a, that book bag tonight I have no clue seriously close it all up
I mean, this is probably very helpful to a lot of people because some people don't know what to put in their dolls' book bags. Probably. This isn't really like a book bag. It's like a sleepaway book bag, but I mean, it works perfect as a book bag. So, um, just it has one strap. But I've seen book bags only with uh, one strap. So it doesn't really matter. See? Put it on her shoulder or wherever. And there you go. You can even use like a big um, doll purse for her book bag if you wanted. But yeah. There you go. You can put this up under her desk, inside her nightstand, wherever you put her school clothes at. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!